So we've been able to verify that we can communicate over a socket using an input stream and an output stream. And we were able to show that there was actually talking going across uh, for our, between our client and our server. Now we want to make it so that it actually works as a chat program. And I'm going to start by working on the client. So basically the code here after our in and out goes away. And the idea here is that we need to be able to read from the user and then every time the user types something we write that to the print stream here basically send it to the server and the input anytime something gets sent to us we should print it the problem is with that description and it, it almost sounds like a simple while true then we could do something where we we read something in so let's uh, input equals read line out dot print line input and then maybe we would be checking for uh, in in dot read line print line in now hopefully or p hopefully you can see here that there is a problem. Okay. This is a blocking call. This is a blocking call. If I try to put both of those inside of one loop, it'll be sitting there waiting for the user to give input, and if other people are saying something, we won't see it. Okay. So both of these can't be done together inside of the same thread. We basically need to have two separate threads that are working on these different pieces of functionality. So, and I'm right now going with infinite loops here. We could make it so that a you know certain input for the uh, if the user types in something. In fact, let's go ahead and let's do that. So I'm going to declare input var input is an empty string while input is not equal to we'll say colon quit. Then input reads and we print it out and we do this over and over again. Okay. Here this is kind of sitting in an infinite loop that we will read whatever is coming from the socket and then print it out onto to this screen. This needs to happen in a separate thread. So I am going to go ahead and build a future to put this in. And we have to import future. And then we will have to bring in uh, an execution context. Import Scala dot concurrent dot execution context dot implicits dot global and because futures die when the main thread dies this is actually that's why I reordered these things I put this one on the main thread so the main thread here is reading input and if the user types in colon quit this will terminate the main thread futures don't keep the the program alive when the main thread goes down so this will wind up uh, stopping. And just because it's good to make sure we close our resources when we're done with them, we can explicitly close the socket when this loop exits. So that will happen before everything gets shut down. Okay, so we could run this, but it we really need a, a functioning chat server on the other side to to make it work properly. Um, but we could do a little bit over here just to possibly you know, see what's going on. We could have the read input and then maybe print several things.
and then maybe we read something else. I don't know, just enough so that we have a little bit of a dialogue going on there. We'll come back. Oh, you can't run the client first. If you run the client first, there is no socket to, or you can't attach to a socket to the port because no one's listening to the port. Okay, so I have my client. We are not viewing the client right now. Here is the client. Test one, notice that it got all of those messages that the server sent across. And on the server side, we should see the client said test one, and indeed we do. And then if I type something else here, now I'm getting a whole bunch of nulls because the, let's go ahead and let's stop this. And then the, the server got the correct values. Uh, but the client just started um, going off because the, the server terminated. <clears throat> and so it wasn't happy there. Um, once we make it so that the chat server does the appropriate thing, that behavior will go away. So we'll come back and we'll try to make the chat server do the appropriate thing. It's a somewhat larger program, so it might take two videos to do that. Uh, but we'll get it in working order, and then we can demonstrate just the general usage of our chat server.